Hello everyone. On the Sunday update, I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but getting a little bit done in the garden. Got these planted and um, got my uh, collard greens planted and all of these up here. And I'll show you the pictures of what I did on each one of them. I stopped right there because I still got to get all that grass out over there and I don't want it to get more grass seeds in and try to pull up the grass seed with the uh, thing but also David was able to put in the corner of the fence which makes it a whole lot easier on me uh, with the animals we still got to get that part of the fence removed and back here remove that and replace it so one day at a time it'll happen um, look forward to cleaning this up and making it a healthy happy garden again and just look at this in just a few days already I've got more grass seed so I've got to come back and hoe that out but uh, my back is in severe pain and I'm not going to be getting that done today let me take you around and show you a few things that we've gotten accomplished um, one of the things that we got accomplished is that beautiful gate over there the chickens and we're going to put lattice on the other side of this across here so that it'll look nice there let me show you what it looks like on the outside here if I can get out of here so I think that's going to look really pretty with the lattice on both sides and the uh, gate on the other side. He did a really nice job on it. So that's the new stuff that's been going on. And as usual, I can't have anything. That darn dog has been out here digging in my flower bed. So these are uh, Brandywine tomatoes that I put in and some Gerber daisies that I got on sale. And what do you think? She's got to dig them up. I was worried about the moles, but look at, I've got to replant because of the dog. So I'll have to get that done. I'll catch y'all later. Okay, so I figured out why she did that. Duh, dawned on me. We put, uh, eggs underneath the tomatoes and I'll bet you she dug that up for an egg so I'm gonna have to watch her for a few more days and make sure that no more gets dug up caught picking dog yep I can't have nothing she's done dug out through there again we cut all these back because they were on the lines and I planted some real pretty plants down through here the other day and she's already dug them up and covered them up stinking dog I gotta fix this too well that's the best I could do for now I think that dog's got too much time on her hands I gotta do something about that I wish she'd hurry up and have them puppies so she wouldn't be doing all that mess Finally got the moringas with some uh, stuff around here and they're already growing stuff around them. Pull that out. Anyways. I want you to see all the beautiful mango 
blooms. But you know what? They probably will not last because we really haven't had any cold. These might do good up underneath here. They might actually fruit. But I have a feeling that we're gonna get a freeze or too cold of weather. For these up here, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, we've had all this warm weather and uh, that's what's going on. The um, pear tree's looking good. It's got like, some new stuff going on. I've got to get all the grass pulled out of here. That's always going on. And of course, all the dead stuff off of this Jabota cobra that's up front here. This is the one that's never really bloomed or anything. So it's it's grown quite a bit this year and it's got a lot of new growth on it now. So I'm hoping that it will it will do good. Sorry about the wind guys. I know that's probably crazy in your ear. But it's very windy here. Uh, the macadamia nuts looking really nice. And it's got the passion vine growing throughout it. That's down here. That uh, Mexican plum died that was there, I guess. But the passion fruit lived. <laughs> the neighbor gave me that. And the... Um, Leachy nuts looking big. I've got to cut it off the neighbor's house over there and off my house here. But uh, we'll get to that hopefully this week. Got to clean all this mess out here. Oh, well, let's go underneath here and look at all of our little varmints that's from the air layer and doing good. Some of them are not doing so good. Still, they got brown leaves on them, but they're still green. So they'll probably come back. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, leachy nut. And this is a pear. And let's see. That's leachy nut too. And that's an apple back there. I'm excited about that too. And a Barbados cherry. And David took some home and planted them. He planted macadamia nut and some of the other ones. So he ought to have some pretty cool stuff growing. Um, I think he took home a Barbados cherry too and it's doing really, really well. So maybe he'll do a video on those soon. But isn't that beautiful? I love to look at all the blooms. Now they're not open yet, but they will be in the next few days. And uh, yeah, my hay, my what do you call it, hay fever or whatever it is, it's going crazy. So uh, it'll be even worse once that goes through. Stop it! Stop it! The one or Ginger is going to come out that door, and she's not able to get. Out unless you aggravate me. <laughs> Crazy dog. Anyways, uh, sorry about the dog. This is my uh, Bogan, um, not Bogan Billies, I'm sorry. Bromeliads. That's a big kind and it, that's the kind of flower that it has. And uh, those over there are kind that have the pretty purple ones in the center of them. They're not up out and about that you can see. I don't see any of my orchids in bloom right now. And of course, I took that off. I'm going to have to put some more around that. I'm trying to get that to air layer. And it's got some, it's got some, um, uh, on it. I may take those blooms off. I need to talk to David about that. So, 
sorry about the wind. I hope that I, I hope I'm helping with my hand covered by it. Um, yeah, it's got some crazy stuff going on here. I did have an orchid right here, but it fell off today. Down there. <laughs> and I'm hoping to get some more. Um, there's another orchid up there, but it's not blooming. Anyways, and these are some more bromeliads. These are the pretty red ones, pinkish red ones that bloom quite often for me. Um, and my black sapote, it's looking really beautiful and dense, so thick. I don't think we missed any of the any of the fruit because nothing's fallen. I think. Oh, I take that back. There's one right there. Have to bring that inside. Um, I'm surprised he missed that. He's very good at getting all the fruit. I'll have to tease him about that one. I don't see any more up there. Anyways, well, that's a quick uh, Sunday update. I hope you guys enjoy. Get off that door, young lady. Got my plants in the water. Have to get them in the ground somewhere where the dog won't dig them up. So. Oh, and Linda's, Linda's cactus is blooming. Oh my goodness gracious, I didn't even look for it on Christmas. Hmm. Well, I'll have to send my mom a picture of that. She'll be tickled. I thought I lost that cactus, but it came back. Sure is pretty, isn't it, guys? All through this season, it seems like every time I turn around, she's saying, Hey, Mom, I love you and I miss you. Hope you miss me as much. <laughs> Anyways, y'all don't need to hear my sentimental stuff. But... What a beautiful day it is. It's nice and cool and I've been working around in the yard and in the yard pulling weeds and stuff. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now. Oh, and I want to tell you about this flower. This flower was a teeny little almost dead thing. It wasn't but about that big. And I put it up here and I kept putting it over in the rainwater and letting it get soaking wet and enjoying the water and so on and so forth and then um all of a sudden it started growing and now i think it really likes the cooler weather because it's doing really beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous i love it i love pulling up to the house and seeing that hanging i can't wait to put more hanging baskets out on the fence out back i really enjoy seeing them thought i'd throw that in there Catch you next time. Bye.